Representative G. Russo. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. After this, I only have about 14 more amendments, so uh, we'll be out of here before you know it. Beautiful. I'll see you Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> I hate golf anyway these days. Uh, I do have an amendment. It's LC 00084-7. Representative Giarusso moves amendment LC 000840-7. That is seconded by Lita Morgan, Representative Quattrochi, Representative Roberts, Representative Natalillo, Whip Filippi, and Representative Mendoza. Proceed, uh, Representative Giarusso. I, be, before I get into the details of this, I'll give a little background. A few years ago, you know, before I was here, before many of you were here, we had to tackle something that was really, really pro-business, and that was inventory tax reform. And you know, we used to charge taxes on inventory, and it was a big business killer. And since then, you can see the fruits of the labor. You just go up and down Route 2, Route 6. You see car dealers everywhere, because you know, Tasca used to be in Seekonk. Now the store that they have in Cranston is probably three times the size of the one they have in Seekonk. And a lot of that is to do with the inventory tax. They would not have come here if it were not for making that reform. And we saw that again in uh, with what would happen with the boating industry. You know, back in the day when we, there was taxes on boats, the marinas were half full or half empty, depending on whether you're a pessimist or not. Uh, for me, it's half full. And, um, and now all of a sudden, the marinas are like 95% full, boat sales are great, and, and you can see that it it, it reaps the rewards of what we do here. So now, fast forward to 2017 and uh, June, whatever today's date is, I kind of forgot. Um, it's the TPP tax. It's the tangible personal property tax that many businesses complain about. And it doesn't matter, you could be a service business, you could be manufacturing, you could be a doctor, a dentist, a lawyer, it doesn't matter what you are. You have chairs in there, you have office furniture, you have equipment that the um, municipalities are getting that they want to be, uh, they want taxes on. So if we do this, I mean, it's an expensive thing. It's a heavy lift. There's no, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's a 10 year phase out and it's expensive, but the first year is $18 million. But you could see what happens. It, you know, we do a lot of corporate welfare here, you know, good, bad or indifferent. We do, we lure in companies from out of state and we have to, it costs us a lot of money. This is something that you can do to reward the, the businesses that have been here for a long time. And most of our businesses are the ones that were not lured here. Most of our economy is, all, is based on small businesses. I would have to say probably about 95% of them have fewer than 100 employees. So this would be like throwing them a bone because they've been complaining about it for a long time. You know, I, I have doctors in my district that, that they say that they get taxed every year on the x-ray machines. Uh, there could be a real estate office that they get taxed on their desk, their computers. I think it's, it's just a common sense thing. As I said, it's not going to happen overnight. And I'm, I'm sure this budget, this is going to pass, right? I'm sure it's going to pass. So um, I, I'm just saying it's a 10-year thing. So I, I think it's a good idea. It's a good start. And I would hope for your support. Thank you.